Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are outside and we are doing a product review from Amazon. So this was actually sent to me by the company Becco and it is their large waterproof dog cover for the back seat. So I'm really excited to try this since I just got a car wash. I'm not trying to get any more fur onto my back seat or on the floor than I have to. So let's go ahead and see what we got today. So this is how the cover came shipped to me. As you can see, it is in a large plastic bag. So let's go ahead and take it out. In the bag is just a card that says thank you from Becco and their different social media platforms. So this is what it looks like. It does come in a little drawstring bag to keep it protected, which is really nice. The one that I have, I got from Home Goods, and that one didn't really come with a drawstring bag, so it was kind of really hard to um, like store and put back or put away whenever I didn't need to use it. So I really like that. And let's keep going and see what we have inside here. So just undoing the drawstring. I see that we have a nice non-skid texture for the bottom of the little hammock, our little cover for the back seat, so I really love that. So let's open her up. Okay, ooh. Not really sure what that's for. I guess we'll get there. <laughs> it didn't really come with instructions, so I just have a bunch of materials and not really knowing what to do with it. So, this is what we have. I saw in the picture that there was like a dog sitting on this side of it and I wasn't really sure what it was for, but I guess uh, we'll open it up and see what else we have. Okay, so now we're getting to the inside. So, let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so. I wonder if there is a front or a back. I'm gonna think that they are even. So maybe there is no front and back. It's like whatever you want it to be. Although maybe this is the back since it's like fuzzy and this one isn't. So I'm just going to take these little straps and I guess we put them on this side. this these are going to be so that we can just hang it right over the headrest which I think will be really good and super easy to use and do the same thing over here okay so now I think it is officially time to go into the car. Let's do this. Okay, so let's take a look at what it looks like now that it is quote unquote installed. So this was pretty easy to use. The suede side right here, I realized had to go on the back. There is like a Velcro piece. I think it's supposed to attach to one of the pieces down on the bottom so that it can fold in half like a mat. But basically it is really great that is pretty big i have a small car i have a mini cooper so i mean i don't know if it's gonna fit in if you have like a big suv but this definitely covers all the area really really well i love that it has little slots that are zippered for the seatbelt. I also got the seatbelt off of Amazon, by the way. And I love that you can zipper it back closed so that hair doesn't really creep in underneath that. I found that with my previous mat that there was like a slit for the seatbelt, but then because it was so large, a lot of the fur that Bryce had would kind of just like slip underneath and then 
kind of defeats the purpose of having a cover so I really love that this one has like a zipper so that you can kind of make it tight and then it really decreases the chance of any fur or dirt getting onto your actual fabric of your seat so that was awesome. Another thing that I love is this little hammock mechanism thing. So basically it buckles right here so you can attach it to your little um, bar here and then it clips onto this ring here. And basically that's going to keep it upright so that if your dog likes to look out of the window that hopefully they won't get any of their dirty paws onto your actual door and it'll just get onto the mat, which is, I think is really awesome. I also love that it comes on both sides. My previous mat kind of ended here so all the fur that he would shed would kind of go down here onto the floor mats, which was really annoying. I have a lot of fur down there to show for it. And after figuring out how to kind of put all the buckles together, it was super easy to use. But you know this wouldn't be complete without getting the paw of approval from our furry friends. So let me go get Bryce and see what he thinks of the cover. Look what we have. <laughs> What do we think, baby? What do we think? Like it? Give me a love five if you like it. Give me a papa. Good job, -o. Okay. So it actually really easily folded back and fit into its little drawstring bag. I have nightmares of camping when our tent wouldn't fit back into our little drawstring bag or when your little air mattress wouldn't fit into the little drawstring bag that it came in. So this is awesome and this is excellent. A plus. All right, so some final thoughts. What do you think, Bryce? I think we like it. I think it's really nice. The non-skid texture and this little nice like suede bottom is really cool. I think it's nice that it is a full canopy. No fur will get anywhere that I don't want it to be, which is perfect, especially if we decide to go swimming one day in the brook. So I think that's really awesome. Bryce is starting to get comfy back there. I think overall this is a really great product. Thank you so much to Becco for sending this to me so I can review it for you all and make sure to check out the links below if you are interested in getting it. I'll make sure to link that and the seatbelt down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the little gadgets that I get for my pup since he is my baby. <laughs> so as always don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell on the bottom so that you're notified whenever I upload any new videos and as always don't forget to like this video, dislike it, share it, do whatever you want to do with it, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye! You're comfy.